Hi there, this is Chetan and if you are a Blender beginner artist then watch this tutorial. In next 5 minutes you are going to learn to model a traffic cone and to texture it. So without further ado, let's get started. To create the cone, you need to add a cone. So shift A add the cone and then go to the edit mode and then select the stop words and move it along the Z axis to increase its height. Then control B and V and add a bevel on it. Add a one segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. Then select the faces and then delete them. Then select this bottom edge and E to extrude it and then scale it along the X and Y axis. One more time E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. And one more time extrude it and then scale it along the X and Y axis. As like this. Then turn on the statistics and you need to select the words in a proper number. So you can see there. And scale these words along the Y axis and make them flat. Then same thing select these words and scale them along the X axis to make them flat. Then select everything, mesh and then symmetrize, take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. As like this. Then you can select that outer edge and you can adjust its scale little bit. Then select these corner words and control B and V and add a two segment bevel on it. Give the right bevel width. Then select these words and then right click connect to vertex path and then dissolve these edges as like this and you need to create right topology add there. Then you can select everything and you can take the symmetry along the x and y axis. Then you need to select these border words with a cross selection and you need to scale them along the x and y axis to increase its scale little bit. Then you can select the words right click connect to vertex path to create a path in between the words and then select these words and merge them. Then select these faces and delete only faces and then delete this edge and select the words and then press F to fill the gap. Then you can select everything and then mesh and then symmetrize to take the symmetry along the X and Y axis. Then you can select everything and then E to extrude it along its normal to add the thickness on it. Then select this top face loop and scale it along the Z axis to make it flat and use the insert operation. Then you can select these face loops with the shift select and use the insert operation. Then you can add the loop cut like this and use the loop tool to make it circle. Then wherever it's possible use the insert operation and add a supporting loop cuts like this. Then here you can select this H loop and control B to add the two segment bevel to maintain the curve form. Now just refine your model. Then you can add a bunch of loop cuts like this. Maybe I should go with the proper number of loop cuts. Then you can add the sub-D modifier and increase the sub-D count up to 2. And wherever it's possible just try to refine the model. You can select the top and bottom faces and then use the insert operation to create that loop structure. Then I'm just selecting this bottom faces with the shift select and short path selection and move them along the Z axis to just increase the thickness little bit and then use the insert operation at here. Then shade smooth it and that's look good. Then take it on the floor and here I'm going to select this loop cuts and I'm going to dissolve them. To create that cone design, I need to add the loop cuts in a proper number. So you can add 3-4 loop cuts like this. Same thing you can do from the inner side also. And we have done the modeling. Then you can go to the UV unwrapping tab and you can start its UV unwrapping. Just need to add few seams on the model to UV unwrap it. And easily you can add these kind of seams. Select the sharper edges and control E and mark seam. Just try to unfold it in a 2D shape. Then select everything and then UV U unwrap. Now let's create a texture for it. Use the principal PSDF and give the orange color. Then increase the metallic value a little bit. And then decrease the roughness a little bit and increase the clear coat little bit. That's look good. Then you can select these face loops and create another texture for it. The white texture. 
you need to use the same texture you need to just change the color from orange to the white you can adjust the tone of the orange color then you need to add the noise texture add there connect it to the roughness then increase that noise scale then increase the details and distortions and now you can see that looks really well i'm getting that plastic finishing on it and easily you can create it then you can add the bump map connect it to the height and then connect it to the normal then decrease the strength of the bump map then copy these two nodes and paste it over here and then connect them to the principal bsdf so go to the world properties and add environment texture add there and then go to the render view and change the rendering engine to the cycle and color management to the high contrast and now you can see that's look good in this way we have created this traffic cone so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel bye bye so next video take care